America, Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we're discussing the legacy of Nathaniel Green. Due to Nathaniel Green's extraordinary efforts during the American Revolution, Georgia awarded Green a plantation called Mulberry Grove. Green worked hard to make Mulberry Grove a going concern, but it was not meant to be. On June 19, 1786, six days after suffering sunstroke, this devoted patriot died at the young age of 44. Green was well liked and universally respected, and his death was lamented by all, as the nation had lost the services of an eminently talented man. What Nathaniel Green accomplished in his two years in command of the Southern Continental Army was nothing short of miraculous, especially considering his starting point. The army Green inherited was in a shambles after the opening phases of the war, and many saw little hope for the cause. The enterprising Green immediately recognized he must modify the American strategy. Rather than engage the British in large-scale battles, Green used guerrilla tactics to harass and wear down his more powerful adversary. Green's tactics were so effective that within six months of Green taking command, Lord Charles Cornwallis moved his shrinking army into Virginia and closer to its date with destiny at Yorktown. So, why should the life of Nathaniel Green matter to us today? Nathaniel Green was truly the savior of the South in the American Revolution, and his efforts helped bring the war to a successful conclusion. Green's actions forced the British to consider if occupying the colonies was worth the price. In the end, Great Britain decided it wasn't, and Nathaniel Green's actions played a significant role in shaping that decision. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.